what's up guys? Currently down at Byron Bay. It's um, five in the morning. Katie's doing a triathlon this morning, so I've just got her bike. She's um, just at the registration at the moment, sorting her stuff out. But um, yeah, we're gonna show you guys a little bit of um, weekend, kind of day in the life stuff. What we get up to sometimes. So yeah, we're down in Byron. She's doing her triathlon and then tomorrow um, I'll take you guys to a big run and stuff. But yeah, she's rushing around like crazy trying to get all her stuff sorted. But um, yeah, hope she does well. I'm sure she will do. And um, yeah, chat to you guys once she's finished up. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> Alrighty, we're just leaving Byron. We just got some lunch, well, pretty late lunch. And yeah, Katie did really well. She got second in her age group and fourth overall out of all the girls. So she did really well. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the little Byron trip. I think the dogs are missing us, they're outside. So yeah, we're gonna head home, sit on the highway for an hour or two and yeah, head back to the GC. See you guys there. We're home. <laughs> Back home with these little rascals. Oi. Already scabbing for food. Lunch number two, about to go down. Literally only just got home. It's currently 2.08. And yeah, just gonna chuck this wrap on the George Foreman. Let's go. Let's go. Lunch is sorted. What do you think, Frank? Hmm? Want some? That you, Murph? No? Alrighty, so we haven't been up to too much this afternoon. We just pretty much came home, had a little nap for a bit, took the dogs for a walk, and pretty much chilling out. We're just about to watch a movie. Pretty chill Saturday night. And yeah, we got, got some Uber Eats. We got GYG, which if you're from America, it's just like, I think you guys call it Chipotle or something. It's just like Mexican food. So we got a burrito each, a chicken burrito, and we got some chips as well. So, gonna eat this, and then tomorrow, we're gonna be up early, got a long run. I'm probably gonna do 25 to 30 Ks, and yeah, show you guys parts of that. Gonna try to put some speed work in there, so should be a good one. See you in the morning. Pre-run fuel, we've got a double shot coffee, one banana, and one scoop of G1M. So sometimes before these long runs, I'll have a bit more than this, but we had a pretty big bit dinner last night, so this should do the trick. I think we're gonna hit 20, 25 Ks, and yeah, should be a good one. The weather is pretty terrible outside, but seems to have stopped raining, so it should be all right.
today's running fit. Alice KD always. This is like a running kind of top because it's a little bit cold. We've got the Vapor Flex singlet. These are both size small. And then we've got the tights on, size medium. These are the running tights. We've got the pockets either side. So I'll be able to carry gels and my small little camera. And then we've got the Adidas Primex on today. So yeah, we're all good to go. Waiting on Katie, she's taken ages. And then yeah, gonna get this run going. We are down near the beach and this is the workout that I'm gonna be doing. I'll put some details on the screen for you to look at, but we're gonna warm up with two kilometers. I'll run with Katie. And then we got five kilometers at 3.45 to 3.55 pace. And then rest for like three kilometers, just easy. So I'll probably run back to Katie or just see how I'm going. And then we're gonna do that three times, but you'll be able to see that on the screen. But yeah, we're gonna do a little warm up, few stretches, and then we'll get running. Hopefully this weather clears up. Alrighty, hopefully you can hear me. We're just coming up to Surfers Paradise. Katie's feeling good. I'm just about to finish this warm up and then gonna get into this first five kilometer. So yeah, see you guys at the end. We're nearly 10 Ks in, about 40 minutes. And we're um, gonna have our first gel. We got 700 meters till we hit that 10 K mark and then it's another five kilometers at that that quicker pace and we'll have another three case break which I'm doing at the moment wind is ridiculous weather conditions are just shit out um, but no excuses I'm probably going to turn around head back the other way so I can catch a bit of wind and then I'll probably head back this way on that little 3k break again so yeah see you guys after the next one just about, about to hit 18k's just had that second gel and we're just about to go in to the third and last 5k I think I'm pretty much hitting all these splits under 350 per kilometer which is great feeling good it's time to finish this one off and then we should finish it about 26 kilometers let's do it so last five kilometer done let's call it back up to katie pretty sure i hit those all between 345 and 350 which was good so just to just gonna finish this cool down see you at the end Alrighty, that's the workout done. 26 Ks total. I'll um I'll go through it when we get home. Um, but yeah, Katie did really well. She got 21 after yesterday's effort is solid. If that was me, I probably would have been having a rest day, but she's not a softy like me, so she got it done. But yeah, I'll show you guys all the stats and stuff at home. Little pit stop on the way home. <laughs> we got some wraps, Greek yogurt, um, raspberry jam i think that is we're going to make some protein pancakes some sugar-free maple syrup raspberries dates we've been eating these just throughout the day for something sweet and we're going to try this out magnesium kind of bar salt Let's see if that works katie's pretty sore she reckons so she's going to try them out and we've just been eating a few lollies but i'll um i'll go through this work out in a minute and then yeah we're probably going to make some breakfast refuel after the run some protein pancakes some vanilla yogurt and some raspberry jam and some obviously some raspberries on top and then i've had half of this already but full shaker full got vpn electrolytes replenishing all those electrolytes lost during that run and then we got one scoop of strong greens one jesus one scoop of strong reds in there so yeah, gonna smash this down and then we'll go through that full running workout breakdown. Alrighty guys, finally got a minute to just sit down and um, yeah, we're gonna go over that running workout. 
had a little nap before, me and Katie. Um, all this training literally just destroys us. <laughs> um, makes you so sleepy and we like to free up our, our kind of weekend so we have a little bit to rest and recover. Been eating plenty of good food today, getting fuel back into the body, plenty of carbs, protein, all the good stuff. But let's go over the run. Gonna leave all kind of the details on either side over here. So let's do it. Um, yeah, warm up was pretty straightforward. Just 2Ks at around five minute pace and then we'll straight into the first five kilometer block. First one, we ran um, sub 90 minutes. 347 pace, so really happy with that. That was actually with a crazy wind blowing in my face. I'll let you know in a minute kind of what I ended up doing with that. But we, yeah, we did the first five really good, sub 90 minutes. Um, and then we had a three kilometer just cruisy run in between that 430 pace. So I managed to have that first gel and um, yeah, just kind of catch my breath. And then what I did, I pretty much kept running into the wind and then when I turned back to do 5K, I ran with the wind back. Um, so yeah, cheated a little bit there. Got a little bit of a wind, um, got a little bit of wind behind me, but we hit another one, which was sub 19 again. It was pretty much identical, which is cool. Um, 347 pace average again, and yeah, 1857, which is cool. Um, felt great. Then we had three kilometers just cruisy, 4.45 pace, just kind of caught my breath. Had that second gel, and then bang, we did that last 5K at 19.01, 3.48 pace. Legs were obviously feeling a bit by then. That was kilometers 18 to 23, so was definitely getting further into that run. Um, and then we finished off with 3.4 Ks at about 4.50 pace, so yeah. Total came to 26.4 kilometers. Average pace was 4.13 and yeah, total time was 1.51. But overall really happy with that. It's pretty much that workout is just focused on getting used to my goal um, half marathon pace moving forward. So Noosa half is that next race in two weeks. And then after that, um, I've got the Gold Coast Marathon, which I'll just be pacing kd4 it's not um not going to be any crazy pace or pbs there but after that in august i will be doing sunshine coast half marathon which i did last year and ran my quickest ever half in they do have a sub 120 pacer so i think that race in particular i'll be really gunning for that 120 um, i won't put it past me that i can't do it in two weeks time i'm gonna probably go hard for it but even if i can run a 121 um, i'll be happy with that but that's pretty much it for that running workout little breakdown i like kind of going over the results from it to kind of speak to you guys about how it all went and stuff but overall felt really good the whole run um those gels always go pretty good but yeah that's pretty much it for it i'm gonna go food shopping now and i'll probably show you guys what i grab for the week and we'll do a little bit of meal prep and then we'll wrap up this video and yeah that'll be the weekend vlog done so i'll see you guys in a minute Alrighty, groceries for the week. We got Spud Light potatoes, coffee pods, some orange juice, stir fry sauce, chicken breast, stir fry meat, some ice creams, broccolini, stir fry veg, milk, almond milk, some bolognese sauce, which I'll be using to make spaghetti bolognese, which you guys have probably seen from the other videos. We have some rump steak, more raspberries, um gonna try these out um let's see how those go um mixed nuts peanut butter heaps of bananas got more bananas over there got some spinach as well um some burger buns and yeah that's pretty much everything so obviously some of this stuff or some like i haven't included everything here i've got some stuff in the cupboard already like rice and other stuff but this is um yeah about 200 dollars worth which is great Meal prep done for the week. We got two meals for Monday to Friday. So chicken, pasta and veg, and then spaghetti bolognese sauce. Um, yeah, bolognese sauce with that lean beef mince with spaghetti in there. And yeah, that will do me till Friday. All right, we're gonna wrap the video up there. It's, um yeah, 3.30 Sunday afternoon. 75 
kilometers done for the week and uh, some pretty good gym sessions as well but that's pretty much it done for the week I've got a big week coming up so hopefully get a new another YouTube video out for you guys I hope you enjoy, hope you enjoyed this one um, something a little bit different to what I've done before um, showing you guys a little bit of what I get up to on the weekend so yeah if you guys did like it smack that like button drop a comment and um, yeah subscribe if you want and I'll see you at the next vid. Catch ya.